It seems Synaptics finally figured out how to fix the Samsung Galaxy S9 fingerprint scanner location. More sources claim that the Huawei Mate 10 Pro will make a solid US launch, and Project Fi deals now extend to even your in-flight Wi-Fi. I'm Jaime Rivera, and since I always get asked on Twitter if I could give away a free phone, how about this? My birthday's coming up, and I would love a pair of Bose QC35s. To the same people, <laughs> this is Pocket Out Daily. The official news today begin with deals as uh, Project Fi continues to surprise us with the things that they provide, particularly when you're roaming, traveling, and now it actually includes in-flight Wi-Fi as the company has just partnered with GoGo and it doesn't provide all in-flight Wi-Fi's. You will have to play this game, it's a ski game, and once you finish that you'll get a code and that will give you free Wi-Fi for the duration of that flight. And we also hear that T-Mobile is partnering with services like GoGo for in-flight Wi-Fi. So all this is great. It works on specific airlines. You can see the list in the description. And speaking of deals, if you're in the market for a smartwatch, remember one of the ones that I recommend most is the Huawei Watch 2 or Huawei Watch 2 Classic. The Classic being my favorite. And uh, if you're in the market right now, the regular one is 180 and then the Classic is 220 on Best Buy. And this is a great deal. I love that classic Huawei watch. And speaking of Huawei, for those of you that ask yourselves, why are the Huawei Mate flagships not launched in the United States? We talked about some rumors recently where it might launch on AT&T, and uh, as of today, we've gotten more trusted sources that claim just that. It will launch on AT&T in the case of the Mate 10 Pro, and we are hearing that Verizon might also join. All this is apparently going to happen early next year, so stay tuned. Let's move the spotlight over to Apple as the company has just launched an interesting feature on its app stores, meaning iOS, uh, tvOS, and macOS, where you can actually pre-order stuff as of now. In the past, I think we saw that with the case of Super Mario Run. I might be mistaken though, but yeah, pre-orders are now active and developers actually have a couple of liberties with the service. I noticed that this morning I found it kind of cool. You can learn more about it in the description. And finally, the very hot news that they have to do with the Samsung Galaxy S9, possibly. Because we have Synaptics apparently claiming that during CES, we will see a tier one smartphone being announced with a fingerprint scanner embedded on the display. This is something that we've been hearing Synaptics working with Samsung ever since the Galaxy S8. So obviously we should assume that this would be the Galaxy S9. We're not exactly sure if Samsung will do the announcement at CES, but it would be great if this was figured out we even hear that this is already being mass produced. Let us know in the comments, would you love this feature on the Galaxy S9 or not? And if not, in which other phone? In my case, I feel that every phone should have the fingerprint scanner on the display. That is just my opinion. Leave us a comment down below for yours. Apparently, it leads me to the question today, would you love, or I think love would not be the word, but would you like Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel by hitting this button up here. You can watch yesterday's PocketNow Daily up here in our review of the OnePlus 5T down here. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.